Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Ivan Sodom. This is my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be teaching how to make a desktop application with PHP Desktop Code, particular PHP wrapper for PHP code. Basically, you don't have to do any of that, you just have to write your PHP code and convert it into a desktop application. If you don't subscribe, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. First, you check PHP Desktop Code. This is the keyword of the Google. So you lead you to this GitHub project. If you open it up, you see a full description about the project, how it works. Basically, it works with Chromium embedded framework. The framework, the frame that Google Chrome used to used to run, that's how it works. The same thing that Electron JS does, you run Google Chrome, Google Chrome Chromium framework at the background to load the desktop application for you. But this is for PHP. Now we all know this PHP over the years has been dropping support, so this is not very supported now. But you can see it to be simple applications like to do applications and connect to database, file managers, and a little bit of system hardware architecture. Now it runs with a particular database engine, SQLite, and just one particular server, Mongoose DB. If you come to if you come to this page, you can read the entire introduction and the sponsorship. The, the project is still very recent, so you need to get a photo to go to go to get to, to get used by the world. You can come through and read all this. So you go to the download page. You go to the download page. Here, come click through, it gets you here. Then you see the latest release, and on this page. It gives you everything you need to know how to build an app for Windows, Windows, everything you need to know. Knowledge base. You come here, how to build an app for Windows, knowledge base. If you click release this particular release, it takes you here, then you see release and you download it. Now, I have already downloaded it to my desktop, my computer, that's this package here, and I've extracted it to my home page. So, this is it. First thing you will name it the particular project name you want. So let's name it the simple app. Then you open it, you open the project with any text editor, any text editor of your choice. Any text editor of your choice can be in this in my case I use this to So I'll just come folder and I go to simple app to open up for me. It takes a while. Okay. You go to setting the JSON. In setting the JSON, you can change the default screen size. If you have an icon, you can give it the URL to the icon. Now you can change the title of software here. I'll change my title to simple app. Simple and for many other things, you can change the pitch width. Just go through the documentation and come back here. You see what to change. You can make it now reload with F5 external navigator. Navigation, you can make it change it to pause developer tools. I don't like having developer tools in my project, my desktop project. So I'll change it to pause. I'll tell you to pause. So many other things you can do here. Now, having this done, I'll go back. I'll go back to my desktop screen. Open it from here. And come down to this icon here. And click run. Now, this is what I get. As you can see, there are so many pages here different things that you can work with so many things you can work with but we can take care of all these things remove all of them go to the video 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 this this will act like your project folder and hit the job direction when you're working with normal local server you can come here and clean up all this let's go through it this place. You can come here and clean it all. Let me show you the 
and this other in here. Let me Sorry, let's do it one instead. That's quite big. Hello. Go no. back. No, this is the first page. If we move the bed out there from it, hello. Simple app, hello. Let's pass a bit. And we open it. Whenever you want to run the project, you go to this Petri desktop application. Now, to package this for distribution, you need email setup installed on your system to help you set it up. If you go to the documentation, you find out more about email setup and how to set it up for distribution. To connect Petri desktop code to a database engine, it only works with SQLite 3 database engine. You can connect it easily with that and just write your code. The way code is written, I put everything in your WW code to all run here. That's it for this video. In the next video that will come out soon, just to this channel, we are going to do the simple to do code application with jQuery, Ajax, and PHP desktop code that will work as a standalone application. We use MySQLite, SQLite as the database engine, and Petri Desktop as our server. So stick together, stick with this channel. Thank you. If you have not subscribed, don't subscribe.